The high cost of new drug development has been a global challenge, making healthcare inaccessible. A significant part of the costs comes from specialized instruments, tools, reagents, and tedious laboratory work. Microfluidic devices have proven to be effective tools in lowering the cost of drug R&D by much less requirement of costly reagent volume, controllable in vitro environment, and highly automated processes. To date, majorities of microfluidic devices are fabricated by soft lithography, which involves cleanroom microfabrication of molds using photolithography and labor-intensive procedures. Bat photopolymerization, as a promising alternative, allows for one-step fabrication of microfluidic devices in general labs, thereby making microfluidic devices available to much broader researchers. However, current VPP has difficulty in achieving well-controlled micrometer size channels in the layer building direction, due to the overcuring issue. That is, the light irradiation required to build the most critical channel roof layer and the subsequent layers will inevitably cure the residual resin inside flow channels, causing clogs. To solve this challenge, Professor Yong Chen, Noah Momstadt, and Dr. Yang Su at the University of Southern California proposed a novel in situ transfer vat photopolymerization process for transparent microfluidic device fabrication. The work was published in the journal Nature Communications. The key idea is to print the most critical channel roof layer separately via double exposure on the resin vat surface using an additional built platform called aux platform. First, the base and the channel portion of the part are mainly 3D printed using the normal VPP process. When printing the channel roof, the top portion enclosing the channel, the aux platform is utilized as a constrained surface to prevent light penetration, so resins inside micro channels receive no light energy. When the aux platform removes, the printed roof remains stationary on the resin bat surface and then transferred to the previously built part with the second exposure of a planned mask image. All the other layers are printed using the normal VPP process with the main build platform. The aux platform fabricated channel roof will exponentially cut down the light dose delivered into the channel portion. Resin trapped in the micro channels remains liquid or gel state and will be washed away after fabrication. The experimental prototype adopted the most commonly used 405 nanometer light sources and commercial photocurable transparent resins without modification, which means many significant advantages. This low-cost process features much higher manufacturing efficiency than other higher resolution techniques and has no additional constraints on liquid resins, such as reduced transparency. The researchers successfully fabricated microchannels at 10 micron levels with high accuracy, good surface finish, and reliability. The resolution can be even higher with more precise mechanical systems. Here are more test cases to show the capability of in situ transfer VPP for microfluidic device fabrication. The researchers hope the higher resolution printing ability endowed by in situ transfer VPP can boost the application of microfluidic technologies and thus bring affordable healthcare to billions of people around the world.